Welcome. I feel like going on an antique hunting adventure today and it's not for small plates and balls and things like that. I really need something to go in this area. So this cupboard here is going to go into the boot room and this is where the sink is going to be eventually. So I'm desperately trying to find a different unit to use for a sink unit. And then we're actually looking for freestanding furniture for the rest of the kitchen. So I thought today I've got time, I'm going to go to Holt and have a look around the quite large Emporium and see what I can find because actually not having freestanding furniture to go in to the places that needs to be is actually holding us up now. So let's go. Here we are at Holt Antiques and Interior Centre. Let's go in and see what we can find. Okay, I must stay focused. I'm looking for kitchen furniture. So no distractions. Let's just take a wander around and see what we can see. We'll take it nice and slowly so you can see everything. And I'll try not to chatter too much along the way. This Emporium is one of my favourites to come to. It's in an old warehouse with lots of different dealers, so it's quite diverse and you never know what you're going to find. I haven't seen much furniture yet. A bit disappointing, but there's still time. Oh, I do like those. Those are beautiful. Can you see through the glass? They're dogs with candlesticks attached. I really like those. This dealer has been here for as long as I can remember. I really like this stall. They've got a lovely rustic feel to them with a little bit of glamour. so many tempting things but still no kitchen furniture oh my goodness look at these now this gold block tin brings back memories my dad has got a garage full of gold block tins he keeps all his screws and nuts in right moving on This is rather nice. I don't think I've seen this dealer before. They've got a very nice way of displaying their wares. Some really lovely things. This is a sweet little jerk. Oh, I do like that. Not a bad price, £15. I don't need it though. Oh, I love that fabric on this chair. I'm really drawn to green at the moment. That's so nice. I felt sure that I would see some furniture in here. Just not my day for kitchen furniture. I'll keep looking though. Thank you. 
there's still another room to look in, so on we go. Louisa, you don't need China. Look away. Here we go, into the next room. Things have really changed in here since the last time I came. Oh, that's me done. No luck, unfortunately. But it's always worth looking. You just never know what you might find. So I'll pop back again next month and obviously keep an eye on their Facebook page too. The antiquing trip isn't over yet. I've got somewhere very special to take you next. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Please remember to subscribe and press the bell icon so you know when I post it. Also, if you find my videos inspiring and positively entertaining, you can always buy me a coffee by following the link in the description below. And here we are at the beautifully fabulous Bayfield Hall Antiques. There's only about seven dealers in here, but it's always full of some treasures. I can't wait to go inside. Gosh, that looks like my rolling pin collection at home. Very impressive. And this looks like the linens in my housekeeper's cupboard. It's like home from home. Oh, this is what every dinner table needs. Little owl place card holders. Without a doubt, this is my favorite area within Bayfield Antiques. This dealer is called Jane Cave and she has exquisite taste. I just love looking around here. Isn't it beautiful? I would just love my house to look like this or imagine a French chateau. Oh. I just don't think that it's my cottage's style, but I do love it nevertheless. Isn't this just the most fabulous setting? It's set in the old stables of Bayfield Hall and it really works well. Oh, I love this little door knocker. That's so sweet. Oh, 
still no kitchen furniture, but everything else is just looking splendid. So tempting. I'd like one of those lamps. That's nice. These glasses are new, but I think those would look lovely on my bedside table in my new bedroom. Hmm, something to think about. This small emporium is very much based around interiors. I think that's why I love it so much. I could really kick my house out in here. What is it about vintage tassels? I'm completely obsessed. I just love the tassels on that sofa. Every time they hook me in. just adore this tabletop. Again, I'm feeling French chateau-y. Not for me, but it's beautiful. I wanted to show you these pretty little bedsides. They look like an identical pair, don't they? But I've spotted something interesting. This one has a little drawer at the side, just there. And the other one has a little drawer at the front. I wonder what the story is with those. Oh, I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. My boot is empty going home, but it's always nice just to get out and about and have a look. So until we go antique hunting next time, bye for now.